Alrighty then, looks like we got a new update. Tesla just put out 2020.36.10. And it looks like we have an added feature. So let's check this out real quick. That's kind of unusual to get an added feature on a major update like the 3.6 version. The dot 10 is just a uh, update to the original 3.6 update. So let's see what we got here. So we got this new thing called navigate on autopilot beta exit passing lane. While navigate on autopilot is activated, your car can now remain in the passing lane to adjust your passing lane preference Tap control, autopilot, customize, navigate on autopilot, exit passing lane. All right, well, we'll check that out. But this thing right here is, is, is I know autopilot has had problems with it staying in the passing lane because you know, it will, when you use navigate on autopilot, it will, it can uh, change lanes for you or tell you to change lanes to go around slower cars. Sometimes though it will stay in that passing lane and it won't ever come back. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it stays in the passing lane for a long time, but it looks like they're trying to address this some way or another. Here in Texas, it's against the law to drive in the passing lane unless you're passing. So in other states, I guess they allow you to drive in the passing lane or else Tesla wouldn't have this feature to allow you to stay in the passing lane, which is kind of uh, unusual. But anyways, so let's see what that, where that setting is. So we'll go to uh, autopilot. We'll go to customized navigation on autopilot. And sure enough, here it is, exit passing lane. It looks like it's defaulted to yes. So, uh, We'll go ahead and let's give that a test. Put that on yes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this to no on requiring the uh, lane change because I've always had that where it requires it. But now that they got this, you know, exit passing lane feature, maybe it'll stay in the right lane because it used to want to just go all over the place on me. So I turned that off. And uh, let's just do the uh, chime. And that'll work all right so let's uh, take this thing out on the road and see what this new see if it stays in the lane like it's supposed to okay we're getting on the highway now so uh, I got navigate on autopilot enabled go ahead and start autopilot and let go and uh, here we go I'll just rest my hand here gotta have some torque on it my blinker to get on it's getting on turned off the blinker I had to do that manually I don't know why but anyways so we're driving along right now I'm gonna go ahead and get it up to 75 so maybe I'll pass somebody but let's do this I'm gonna go ahead and get in the other lane the passing lane and see what happens Okay, I'm in the passing lane. Hey, there it goes. It's, one, it's, it's now maneuvering me to the other lane. Oh, here's a car coming on the highway. Let's see how it merges. Autopilot isn't slowing down. Now it's slowing down. Now it wants to get over. moving over now seems like that car that got on the highway is now speeding up faster than me so let's see what happens here now it's slowing down looks like they're going the same speed I am I'm going to there's a car behind me already and it's not moving over oh but now I'm passing So we'll just keep going. Seems to be doing pretty good because I'm still passing cars. So it still has me in the passing lane.
thinking it's sweet time to pass this car. It looks like this car is speeding up now. Oh, now slowing down. Okay, now, me personally, after I pass this car, I would get out of the passing lane. So let's see what the uh, Tesla does here. Okay, it should be, there it goes, all right immediately it is getting over okay well that new update is a win that is a win yes all right well, there you go there's the new uh, introduction to the uh, new update uh, stay tuned for another video where I'll do the uh, Villa Maria challenge and see how autopilot works on those uh, curvy intersections Anyway, stay tuned for that video coming out next. Talk to you later. If you like my videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Also, if you want to support me in making these videos, you can go to my Patreon site and provide a small donation to my stupid little channel. Any one of these will help to grow my channel. So give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.